Hello and welcome everyone to the Powder Toy, and today we're going to be creating an exotic reactor. Because I was playing with exotic and it's just so dangerous, I felt like if we could harness the danger to make a very safe and efficient system of energy creation, why not? I mean, if you don't remember how dangerous <laughs> uh, exotic is, here is a... M okay, I'll make it a little bit prettier than that. Mostly because it's just very powerful when it gets angry. D did you see how fast that went? There's nothing left. This is actually not going awfully. Okay. Great. We have contained it. And now what's going to happen is these excited particles that are excited on this side are going to get mixed throughout the entire thing. They won't just all go to one spot. So now these excited particles are getting phased through the entire system again, without exploding in one big glob. So this will be slow and steady, because we have to depend on this stuff actually moving throughout. And we should probably add more water. Um, why is there oxygen and hydrogen? Oh, the electricity is splitting it! No, that is something I did not expect to happen. All right, we can probably counter this just by adding more water. Uh-oh. Okay, so you see what's happening now is... Oh. Uh-oh. The oxygen, I believe, caught on fire, and we have a leak. All right, so let's go back to here. Um, How do we prevent the oxygen from getting split like that? That is a really big issue. Exhaust. Very nice. Heat switch. Heat. Hmm. Mm hmm. Conducts heat only when activated. Huh. Interesting. I guess we can just use fire. <laughs> Feels a little bit cheaty to me, but. You know, I'd rather not spend all day trying to figure this out. Well, we'll just call it a spark plug. Okay, we got a spark plug here. And we go ahead and make... Yeah, look at that. That works perfectly fine. We burn the reactants. And we get some heat out of it. Seems fine to me. And this is at 200 degrees, so we can actually make use of that heat energy. Actually, this is meant to be getting heat out as well. Uh, but how am I going to... I guess we'll go left. That makes more sense anyways. Okay. Is that water vapor? It is water vapor. That's the issue. Water is getting through, but there's not a ton I can do about that. Um, it's kind of how it's designed. This is getting excited and it's all coming to the bottom because this water is using all of the portal in, so this portal in isn't able to do anything. Oh, balancing this is a mess. <laughs> this may actually be the hardest kind of reactor I've ever had to make. <laughs> I mean, this works. We we could just d tack this right here. Throw a generator on the end of this and be like, wow, look, we did it. I mean, it is, it is genuinely creating quite a bit of force here. Uh, we can do our detector boy, like here, and then grab some titanium off of it. No, is it angry? Huh. Why isn't that working? Now I'm even more confused. That should be working. Uh, 
Oh, this is working here. Okay, uh, it's because the steam isn't actually going out this far. Uh, that's fine. I'll just do this. That works. Cool. Hmm. The question is, is this actually stable or is this going to fall apart? I mean, the exotic's getting excited. It's not actually causing a massive nuclear explosion, though. This seems to be pretty stable. It doesn't seem to be awful. And we're generating electricity from it, so I guess we could kind of call this a win. Uh, the temperature here is staying at about 200. We're burning off any of the excess oxygen and hydrogen. We got some stuff up here, which is kind of gross. Hmm. We'll go here. That's gotta be close enough. Okay, midstream, we throw three of these bad boys down. Which hopefully don't freeze everything. There we go! There we go! That is exactly what we want. Let's convert it into water. Then the water comes in here. That looks good, I think. We're clearly leaking some water, though, because this is a thing. It looks like there's a hole here. Oh god, it's out of water! Oh god! Oh no, that's not good. Okay, it's fine. I can handle this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Calm down! Calm down! The reactor is not melting down. We are simply running into some technical difficulties. Please calm down. There's no reason to get your wife and children and run, okay? Everything's okay. We just have to do a quick maneuver known as fill the entire thing with coolant. See? And it's coalescing at the bottom, which is really what we don't want to happen. So we have to actually give it some space to cycle. Please? Cycle? Start cycling. Okay. It's not good. I will admit that the current outlook is not good. However, it hasn't exploded yet. What happened over here? Why is there water in here? Huh. Well, this just got very angry. <laughs> uh... Sir. Oh, oh, it's starting to work! There we go. See, it's calming down. It's calming down. Things are going back to normal. There we go. Okay. Hmm. There are a few issues, though. Like, the entire system is not working. That's fine. That ice is okay. I'm more concerned about this. This shouldn't be letting any of this stuff in. I don't know why the sparker got broken. Clone! Alright. Let's get this back on the road. On the road again. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Give us some activity. Okay. Fantastic. It's starting to move. She's starting to wake up again. Come on. Most of what we're getting is oxygen, though. You can tell because it's burning in the combustion chamber. 
I mean, that's fine. It's enough to generate power, but that's not really what we're trying to do here. There we go. There we go. The water's starting to boil. The issue is up here, we're mostly getting steam back and not water back. Alright, here we go. See, this is the problem. I, I have figured out what the problem is. The heat's getting through this wall, which is causing this chamber to be really hot. What we really need to do is get insulation. No, I'm, I am pretty happy with the current operation of this uh, power generator. It seems to be pretty clean. Oh! The water in the reserves is actually getting a little bit low. I mean, it's bound to run out at some point just because it's converting some of it into oxygen and hydrogen, but it doesn't seem to be a major issue. And it looks like we actually have a little bit of hydrogen in here that's leaked through the system. Not the end of the world, but burning it off, probably good. Although I just destroyed the water system. Whoops. Hmm. I am quite happy. I am quite happy with how this turned out. I don't know how to make a soap reactor. I don't know how soap would work in a reactor. That would be a little bit challenging. Maybe next time. <laughs> Alright. So... I think I've done my job, and I think I've done it well. Is it perfect? No. It's certainly not perfect, considering I have to add water to it occasionally. But, it definitely does work. Now, I will go ahead and give you guys what you want. Let's put soap into it and see what happens. <laughs> Putting soap into an exotic reactor shouldn't have too much an effect, I don't think, but but we'll see. <laughs> Let's fill it with some soap. I mean, it, it couldn't it couldn't be that bad, could it? All right, there is now soap in the reactor chamber. The soap seems to just be flopping around, minding its own business, kind of conglomerating. Um. I don't know if I should be concerned. Should I be concerned? It doesn't look like it's causing any major issues. Oh no, it's certainly causing major issues. It's getting the entire... It's getting clogged. It's clogging the top portion and preventing things from moving. Which is causing the exotic to get stuck at the bottom. Hmm. I mean, it's still functioning! The soap is causing issues, but it hasn't really killed it. I guess we have to add more soap. I mean, what about a soap is too much soap? The heat's pretty high, and the water is getting used really fast. What is going on here? It's all blocked. <laughs> Huh, uh, excuse me, I'll just do this? There we go. That's better. Oh my god, the amount of steam it's making! Wow, the plutonium is having a much better time. The amount of steam that's coming out of this is insane. I didn't even mean to design a plutonium reactor. But it's working. I mean, it's obviously getting a little bit damaged because it doesn't play nice with a ceramic, but it's... It's actually working really nicely. <laughs> Alright, what if I just add a little bit more neutrons than it's designed for? It's happy? Seriously? Are you kidding me?
That takes an absurd amount of neutrons to make it melt down. I'm really offended by the fact that this works better with plutonium than my original plutonium reactor. That's really annoying. I guess I'll design a new plutonium reactor later as well, using the same concept of flow. Alright, what if we add... Uh... Oh. I guess we could add deuterium. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's... It's, uh... It's working! Too well! I can't break it. We'd have to make it completely full of exotic. I'd have to do this. Now there's a chance of it going off. Possibly? Honestly, at this point, I'm not convinced. <laughs> the pressure is now at 85, 86, 87. Why isn't it exploding? I'm really confused. Is it just not enough electrons? Okay, so giving it bursts of electrons to the center is definitely exciting it more. So it looks like the- oh, there we go! Oh, Look at that! The amount of energy that was held by that was insane! I cannot believe that it was able to handle. Let's check the temperature. I just want to see where it starts. So it goes, it goes, it goes, but where does... Where does the final... There we go. So we have the center of the explosion at 9... 1,500 degrees. It goes up the chamber, which is at... Ooh, it's hard to tell. These particles are at 9,000 degrees and they're going through the chamber. But it actually does a really good job of forcing the heat up and out. This is all going through before it escapes the main chamber. And then as it goes... It actually, because heat rises, it doesn't want to go through this pipe. Instead, it's punching through here and just making its own way out. But it takes quite a while for it to actually burst. And then the uh, 9,000 degree lava destroys everything. Actually, that was more interesting. That was like half... We had half of a reaction there. Huh. Why did that happen? Oh well. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy watching me play the powder toy and make cool things like this. I'll see you all next time. And uh, maybe subscribe as well because, you know, then you can see me next time. Peace out.